This segment of Dolmarva Life is sponsored by Tidal Health. Think about it. Every successful medical treatment or breakthrough you've heard about or even experienced started with a trial. No trial, no shot at breathing life into an idea. That exact thought process fuels hospitals when they implement clinical trials. And we'd like to introduce you now to Dr. Robert Joyner, the director of Tidal Health's Richard A. Henson Research Institute. Welcome to Delmarva Life. Yeah, Thanks for having okay. me. Let's start right at the beginning. What is a clinical trial? So a clinical trial is when you compare what is standard of care to something that is new and something that people believe would do better than what we currently are doing. The thing to remind yourself about medicine is it can always be improved. We do really well right now. However, things can be improved, and the only way to improve them is through clinical trials. So do all clinical trials, do they only involve experimental medications? So they don't, but that's, for, that's usually what's thought of mm -hmm. um, is pharmaceutical companies and medications. But there's a wide range of clinical trials that include devices for cardiac devices, think pacemakers and how pacemakers work. But there's also clinical trials that are related to things like well-being. So when you're going through a treatment process for like cancer, how do you best uh, sort of navigate that process? The only way that you would know that is to ask questions in clinical trials. Is it mainly for people who have run out of other options or is it more than that? So it's not, but that's another common concept that people think about is the only time that I'm offered a clinical trial is sort of something when I don't have anything else to offer. And that's not really true. That goes back to that concept of um, is the medicine we're offering the be all end all and it's not, uh, we can do better. And clinical trials can be anything from healthy individuals uh, who are just trying to improve their health and stay healthy uh, all the way through individuals that are in the intensive care unit and are sort of in a clinical trial because that's the last thing they have mm -hmm. to offer them. But it's a very wide range. So is it safe to say that uh, participating in clinical trials is less scary it than should you might be. think. <laughs> so the thing that comes along with clinical trials is the idea that you get attached to a team. At Tidal Health, we have the Richard A. Henson Research Institute. We have an entire team of nurses and other dedicated individuals that care for that individual as they go through that clinical trial. So it should be less scary than it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. So how are they carried out? What's the process? So we identify clinical trials through either um, industry who comes to us and asks us if we uh, would like to participate with them. Uh, uh, the industry, like I say, can be anything from pharmaceutical industries to uh, equipment manufacturers to um, local universities could come to us and ask us. We're also part of the Johns Hopkins Clinical Research Network, and so we receive information from Johns Hopkins about their clinical trials to bring them here. And importantly so, what happens is, is that we're able to bring those clinical trials here so that people who live here on the Eastern Shore don't have to travel to get access to world-class medicine. That's wonderful. What a wonderful thing. And very interesting mm. clinical trials. I think it, it currently falls under that idea of best kept secret, which I'm trying to move beyond. Okay. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I want people to know that we do this here. Uh, I want them to ask questions about the clinical trials that we're able to offer here um, so that we can provide the service to the Eastern Shore and the people who live here. All right. Tidal mm. Health's Dr. Robert Joyner, thank you so much for Thank the information. You. Thank you. Fascinating.